Hello! Thank you so much for once again tuning in into my video. Today we're gonna be talking about organisms in cycling materials. So once again, I am Benjamin Joseph Bilimibao, your science blogger for today. To all my viewers out there, particularly to my grade 8 students, welcome, welcome, welcome. Alright, so today is gonna be special because we're gonna be talking about organisms and cycling materials and um, we're gonna we're not gonna be tackling everything but we're just gonna be talking about specific topics under this um, topic that we have right now okay so for our learning competency today we will analyze the roles of organisms in cycling of materials and it's pretty interesting because oftentimes we don't know the roles of organisms in the cycling materials. I mean, I mean like, like a lot of us, particularly our students out there. So today we're going to be talking about that one. So to be specific, um, we're going to be talking about nitrogen cycle because I mean, it's pretty popular, nitrogen cycle. But what is nitrogen cycle really? And like what extent do we know about it? To what extent do we know something about nitrogen cycle? So this is a perfect depiction of what is a nitrogen cycle or an illustration of a, of a nitrogen cycle. The image is free. Um, anyone can use this image because it's meant for commercial use. So we really have to be careful of choosing our vi or our image whenever we're doing a vlog. We want to make sure that we're not violating a copyright, right? So this is a. Um, these are the things that are included in our nitrogen cycle, and the symbols for for a specific um, for a specific name or for specific specific terminology under the nitrogen cycle. So we have here nitrogen cycle, nitrogen fixation, uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria, nitrifying bacteria, denitrification bacteria, and a lot more. Um, let's unlock first what is nitrogen. So it says here in the definition that nitrogen is the chemical element with the, with the symbol N and atomic number 7. It is necessary for food supply, but too much of it can harm. So, we see nitrogen in the periodic table, right? And if we're gonna take a look at its symbol, it's the letter N, and its atomic number is number 7. You can check that in your periodic table. Or you can actually Google it, since everyone can access now in, in an internet. Um, on the illustration given, 78% um, uh, of our of the composition of air is actually nitrogen. One percent are carbon dioxide, argon, water vapor, and other gases, and the other twenty-one percent is oxygen. That's why nitrogen is really abundant in our air. So we really have to be knowledgeable about that one. So ninety-seventy-eight percent of our air is actually a nitrogen. Because oftentimes when we talk about air, we only think about oxygen, right? That's what we learned. But here, we've learned that it's divided into different categories. 78% nitrogen and 1% um, other gases and 21% are oxygen. 21% is oxygen. So we have here the stages of nitrogen cycle. Process of nitrogen cycle consists of the following steps. So you really have to remember this. First is we have nitrogen fixation, nitrification, assimilation, ammonification, and denitrification. So we have here one, two, three, four, five. Five steps under the nitrogen cycle. This process takes place in several stages. The process that helps nit nitrogen out of the air and into the living organism is the nitrogen cycle. So that's what nitrogen cycle means. It helps nitrogen out of the air and into the living organism. So that's the process if you're gonna take a look the, at the illustration given. Okay, just follow the, uh, follow the arrows and in the direction of the process of nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen fixation is the initial step of the, of the nitrogen cycle. Here, atmospheric nitrogen, which is primarily available in an inert form, is converted into the usable form ammonia. So this is the symbol for ammonia. 
and again um, the symbol for nitrogen is the letter N so it is the initial meaning it is the first step nitrogen 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 fixation is the first step of the night in the nitrogen cycle Nitrogen fixation is the process by which atmospheric nitrogen is converted by either a natural or industrial means to form a nitro nitrogen such as ammonia. So, in nature, most nitrogen is harvested from the atmosphere by microorganisms to form ammonia, nitrates, and nitrates that can be used by plants. So, nitrogen fixation is significant, or nitrogen cycle is significant because it is being used by plants, okay, in order for our living organisms to survive. Nitrification, on the other hand, is the process the ammonia is converted into nitrate by the presence of bacteria in the soil. So, every soil has a bacteria, so this time we're converting ammonia into nitrate. Nitrates are formed by the oxidation of ammonia with the help of nitrosom nitrosomonas bacterium species. Later, produced nitrates are converted into nitrates by nitrobacter. This conversion is very important as ammonia gas is toxic for plants. So, um, these steps are really necessary to, for us to be able to ensure or for the environment to be able to ensure that everything is safe under the nitrogen cycle. Assimilation, on the other hand, primary producers' plants take in the nitrogen compounds from the soil with the help of their roots, which are available in the form of ammonia, nitrates, ions, nitrate ions or ammonium ions are used in the formation of the plant and animal proteins. This way, it enters the food web when the primary consumers eat the plants. So we have here assimilation. Next is ammonification. When plants or animals die, the nitrogen present in the organic matter is released back into the soil. The decomposers, namely bacteria or fungi present in the soil, converted the organic matter back into ammonium. This process of decomposition produces ammonia, which is further used for, the, for other biological processes. So that is ammonification. Next is the nitrification. It's the process in which the nitrogen compounds makes its way back into the atmosphere by converting nitrate into gaseous nitrogen. This process of the nitrogen cycle is the final stage and occurs in the absence of oxygen. So this is the final, which is the last process. The nitrification is carried out by the denitrifying bacteria species Clostridium and Pseudomonas, which will process nitrate to gain oxygen and gives out free nitrogen gas as a byproduct. Alright, so those are the important processes of the nitrogen cycle. Let's just have a quick review once again. First, we have the nitrogen fixation, given is the definition and the description of the nitrogen fixation. Next is we have the nitrification. Next is we have the assimilation, ammonification, and the nitrification. So what I want you to do is to get familiar familiarized with the steps of the nitrogen cycle. So nitrogen cycle is really important because it actually helps the plants and it actually helps us and benefits us as well all right so that's pretty much all my video for today um, I was not able to include everything but I'm gonna be showing more of videos that would actually reinforce your existing knowledge about the nitrogen cycle all right nitrogen cycle is just one of the subtopics of the organisms in cycling materials all right well that's all for my video for today thank you so much for tuning in i really enjoyed um i hope you learned something today even though just a little but i hope that you get a little knowledge every day particularly to my students out there thank you so much all right so that's all for today and have a good day and i'll see you later thank you so much bye bye